my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we will be looking at how you can copy pages from your Google Sites onto another Google Sites and in particular how you can copy subsets of pages. So a new update to Google Sites now allows us to select those pages we would like to see copied and create a copy of the entire website or just that subset of pages. So let's jump into it. Here I have one of the Google Sites templates and as you can see on the right hand side this template already has a number of pages built in. Home, Schedule, Newsletter. Now I've added two more pages to this website. An About Me page and an Apps Events page. So let's say that I want a copy of the entire website. However, I do not need the Schedule page and I don't want the newsletter page, but I do want to copy everything else on this website. Well, now that is possible. Simply click on the three dots at the top, the overflow menu, and then select make a copy. A new option here is to click on selected pages. When you select that, you will get an additional screen. So let's go ahead and click on next. And on this screen, we highlight those pages we would like to see copied. Now you can select any of the pages that are part of your Google Sites. So I'm going to select Home, About and Apps Events. Three pages that I'd like to copy and I click on OK. Now this is now going to copy those selected pages and at the bottom you will see that copy started. Check your emails for updates. So you will get an update in your inbox notifying you that that copy has been successful. Now you can also just jump into your recent files in Google Drive and you will see here at the top we have that copy ready to go. So let's go ahead and open it. And as you will see, this is an exact duplicate of the original website. But when I navigate to my pages, I only have Home, About and Apps Events. So a huge time saver and this update to Google Sites will not only enable you to prepare those websites at the start of a different term or at the start of a school year, but it also allows you to save a lot of time copying large numbers of pages without having to copy the entire website and then deleting the irrelevant pages. This way you select just those pages that you would like to see copied. Now I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let us know in that comment section below, how will you use this? And can you think of any other use cases for this new update? This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.